The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. And now, a BOA.TV original series. Welcome to the family. Previously on Welcome to the Family. It showed the history of Bermuda from when it first started in the 1600s. So I'm just having a ton of fun. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. Yeah, I do like a drink, and I haven't had the fun of drinking. <laughs> Why? Cool. What do you feel? The ship is moving. How are you staying so still? <laughs> She's used to it. <laughs> um, we just got a musical gift. What is it? We just got a chocolate piano. What? Yeah. What is that? And I asked her, I'm like, is everybody gathered? He's like, no, just for you. And so... <laughs> Spin it, spin it. Do 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 do. Turn, I hold it. Chuka chuka. Do 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 do. No. We made it back to Jersey. <laughs> Hello! Y'all look 10 pounds heavier, did y'all? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, we did. Eric, you didn't get any taller. Are you sure? <laughs> I was so excited! Oh my gosh! I was so excited when I walked outside and saw the BOA team because it's been a long time coming uh, to finally meet them in person and to put a live face with the computer face. Dee had picked us up from the cruise port and immediately after we got picked up, LJ and Valerie passed out in the back seat. So Dee decided to play a joke on them. Oh my god! <laughs> she made me do it. <laughs> sure you didn't want to do it on <laughs> I know what you said. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't want to do it. You did it gentle. I would have been like, 9 11 was obviously a tragedy for everybody. One thing that we visited this time was the New Jersey Empty Skyline Memorial. It's a memorial that's dedicated to the almost 300 New Jerseyans that died during the 9 11 attacks. And what it also is, is it's right on the site where you used to be able to see the Twin Towers across the water. So it's a really powerful. Memorial. Now we're in Jersey, enjoying the views, looking at some history, some of the damage that was done by Hurricane Sandy. You see it right here? This is the waiting area, or it used to be the waiting area, where you would catch the ferry to go over to Ellis Island to register your family and stuff. So then we went over to check out New York City. It truly is the city that never sleeps and it's always full of so many people and I enjoy visiting it. I could not imagine living there. I need more grass. The traffic is horrible. <laughs> but I mean, I'm from Miami, so I get, the traffic is pretty bad down here too, but it's not like that. They're like gridlocked. There's just too many people. In fact, apparently you can fit the entire world's population in the state of Texas if it was as densely populated as New York City. That's just too many people for me. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, we're approaching Times Square right now, and uh, the weather's nice. A lot of people. He's checking his hair. It cut me off again. <laughs> we got Alexa back there periscoping. One of the things to connect with people all over the world, and I'm in the middle of doing something interesting or different, or just want to connect with people and show them what's going on, I use Periscope. So if you want to join me, go to my Periscope at Alexa Oliva. Bert's about to Periscope. Follow him on Periscope. Bert Oliva. No, I'm not going to Periscope. He's not going to Periscope, but you should follow him anyways. So you guys can share and let people enjoy this over here. So really the reason we're here is just to see what's happening in NYC before we head back down south. One of the things that I wanted to see is Times Square. I've been here before, but it was so long ago that I, I can't really appreciate it, you know? So I wanted to go back and really see it with, you know, a new set of eyes. Yeah. 
We're here, reporting live. Right here, reporting live. At 1540 live. Broadway, <laughs> we are in Times Square. It is crazy here. And what are we doing? We're, we're just making uh, it happen. Making it happen. We're making it, it happen. We're making we're it happen. happen. We're making it happen. Right. There was a lot going on in Times Square. There was a lot going on. I can. It's pretty crazy. I mean, they have every store, every food, every person. I mean, it's just a lot of variety in New York City. And then, of course, we had to ride around New York City, especially since Valerie loves architecture. So it was really neat just to explore a bit. You're tuned into Beauty, Body, and Art After Dark with D. Spencer, the work. I'm setting up my radio show for tonight because then after that, I have to rush and get ready for the movie premiere. I'm busy. And this is everyone who's been a guest on my show, which Bert has been a guest on my show, and special people who come to my studio. It's a very important banner in my history as a radio personality. We're just trying to see where I can go. And then later that night, we actually went back to Jersey because Dee actually was a part of a film festival. So we went to see the awards ceremony. This is Mr. Bert Oliva, that's Val. Hi. They're all the way from Miami. Know Who stands for North Hudson. The festival started about eight years ago with the idea of, of uh, having a, a festival that uh, not only concentrated on local filmmakers, uh, but uh, national and international filmmakers, but with a, a sense of, of caring for the filmmaker themselves, a place where they can come and, and share experiences and share a good time. This is me and uh, we, we charge no admission fee, we uh, our entrance fee to the festival. We want people to send us all their films and share the love of films with us and with the audience here in the North Hudson area and in the state of New Jersey. <laughs> Motivate people too much. That's it for tonight. Share this beautiful broadcast. Everybody's beautiful, just some of you. But nevertheless, you're here and you're trying really hard to be here. We welcome you here this evening for the 8th Annual Know Who International Short Film Festival. And be yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. The first award in the 8th Annual Know Who International Short Film Festival is for Best Special Effects, and that goes to Alex Rask for Times Square. Hey. Nothing happens, like already was said, without everybody being involved. Second place goes to Times Square, filmed by Alex Rask. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Beauty, Body, and Art After Dark. Oh my gosh, excuse the late delay. We are running. I'm running in here because we are, me and I got guests in the studio. We just came back from the film premiere of the film that I worked on. We won five awards tonight. Five, count of five, count of five. It was really interesting being able to watch how Dee did her production. I wanted to bring you on to talk about your work and um, and what you do. For the most part, a lot of people have been doing it since the internet gives you the accessibility to do something like that. However, the way she set it up is set up like a professional radio show. So did you start out doing face painting and body art? Do you have a background in art? It's being ran by like three computers. She has the cameras on the side. So it's more like She's filming as she's doing. It was really interesting. Okay, cool. I am so lost. This is so cool. <laughs> I really like to see that. I like to see the way that people take their craft so serious. And then that's the way that you can tell the difference between someone that just does something and someone who's an expert. How you doing, Alexa? I'm doing good. What about no, no, you? No, 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 no. Wait. No, 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 <laughs> no. We ain't going there. Uh-oh. Now they bum rushing. They're going to bum rush. I'm being bum rushed. anything rush. about me when I was sitting here. It's a girl show, man. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about 
about makeup? What do you know about makeup? Yeah, what do you know about beauty, body, and art after dark? Well, I know about beauty and body. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, Bert Oliva and, and his wife, Alexa Oliva, and the whole team is here. We're just about the whole team. There's a few people missing. I met them, believe it or not, I met them online. They're in my home. Yeah. We've invaded. <laughs> For some people, they think it's crazy, but for me, it's a natural thing. I believe that you can find the true heart of a person in their typing and in their texting. How they speak is usually how they really are in person. Because if you're crazy online, you're crazy in person as well. Bert didn't come, well, no, Bert's crazy in person. No, um, anyway, shout out to my friends from Miami, Florida, the BOA team, Woo BOA world. You want to give any last shout outs? Just a shout out to you, Dean. Oh, I, you. It's amazing to watch your work and do this show and everything that you do. You, your talent is just phenomenal. Oh, I'm so proud of you that I was there today when you when your team received five awards. Five you guys awards. cleaned Woo! up. Woo! And you look so beautiful oh, up there with you. your big old smile. Get your flowers. <laughs> yes, <laughs> my flower. Dee is a professional makeup artist. So since we're so close to Halloween, we decided to use her talents to make Bert up and see what creative things we could do. It's awesome. This is my favorite part is this, right? <laughs> you know how Dee is? She gets bored, she does something. That's why her name is Works, because she makes everything work. Look at this. This is crazy, man. Don't rub your eyes Oh, like that. I don't, don't know. drag your eye. What's that? Coconut oil. Coconut oil. Good for your skin, and it takes makeup off really well. I didn't know that. You want to see what it looks like in the, in the end? There you go. You got it. Ooga chaka. Ooga chaka. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as we enjoyed making it for you. <laughs> Let's review what just happened. There's two things. Number one, that even though you've been to a certain place, you can always go back to the same place and see it with different eyes. You know, sometimes we watch a movie, but when you see it again, you notice things that you didn't notice the first time. So make sure you do some of that. Number two, the difference between an expert and someone that just does what they say they do. You see, a lot of times I get off stage and a lot of people come up to me and say, you know, I'm a motivational speaker, I do the same thing. However, there's a difference. When you do it because it's just something that you do and when you do it because it's your craft and you're an expert. So my question to you, are you an expert at what it is that you're doing today? And if you're not, keep doing it until you become one. It takes over 10,000 hours doing the same thing consistently and learning how to do it right to become an expert. And remember, time keeps ticking. So make sure to make it happen. <laughs> I'll see you next week. Hi, welcome to the family. My name's LJ. And don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>